Hi guys, I'm Umar, top boxer Sadiq, professional super middleweight living in London. I was born in Nigeria and in 2016 I was in the Olympic team. In 2017 I turned professional promoted by Hall of Fame promoter Frank Warren, one of the biggest names in world boxing. I model and I've starred alongside David Beckham. I vlog to give you all an insight into the life of a boxer. I also entertain in and out of the ring to spread love and lots of good energy. So this is me guys, I promise to give you guys all unfiltered access to the life of top boxer. Is that who I think it is? What's Top that? boxer, Uma <laughs> Sadiq. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. We're just chilling out here, what brings you to this part of town? Um, bit of this, bit of that, it's a nice spot to check out the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> are you cold out here? Do you know what? It's a cold, cold world, and the best remedy is to keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's get in. Can I come with you? Of course you can. Awesome. So talk to me, what brings you here? Well, I'm just, you know, a bit of Christmas shopping, yeah. getting in the zone. I'm going to be off from work soon, but I'm glad I bumped into you, because, yeah. you know what, I've got a few questions to ask you still. Go on, hit me up. Yeah? Come, let's go. We... <laughs> come, this come, come. This is going to be a tight squeeze. Well, you know, we like a tight squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have been keeping up to date with your boxing career and you had two fights in two weeks. What's all that about? That must have been a hectic week for um, you. Just trying to stay on track to hit the targets that were set out for the year and I've done so. That's insane. And it's like, what, six fights in nine months? That's what's up. That was the plan. You want to stay active, live the life. You must be happen. really strict with your camp. Yes, I am. Absolutely. No time for fun? A little bit occasionally, but mostly in camp, yeah. <laughs> so what does Umar classify as fun? Oh, good <laughs> question. Anything that brings joy and ease. Yeah? Yes. So, going back to boxing, yeah. how does Frank... Actually, sorry, back off a bit. I need to go to the... Yeah, no worries. It's I'm a busy kitchen. Say, how does Frank feel about your performance? Frank knows I'm with it. He knows I mean business. Yeah? Yeah. Which meeting are you with? Would you like some tea? I'm good, thank you. This is a really nice office. I can see why you're just hanging out here. <laughs> so, um, Christmas is here soon. Yeah. What's your plan? Same as it is every year. Dedicate the day to mum. Go to church with her, go home, eat some of her very good food, play some games, and just hang out. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Where is home? Oh, my mum lives in Ilford. Okay. Yeah. Do you, um, I was wondering, like, do you do any charity work and stuff, you know, using your boxing career? Do you ever give back to the community? I do. I do. There's a local boxing club near my house. They're called Touch Gloves Boxing. I yeah. pop in from time to time. I give them tickets sometimes to summer fights. Same with Box Up Quem, uh -huh. which is run by Stephen Addison, doing remarkably good work, working with young people who genuinely need the support. And it, besides that, I sponsor some kids in Africa. Oh, sweet. Whereabouts yeah. in Africa? Um, Senegal, Sierra Leone. Um, you know, I just donate the money <laughs> to a charity that helps them out. And besides that, I just do a few other uh, bits and bobs from time to time. But yeah, let's not get too much into that. Do you have any um, holidays planned, speaking of Africa? I'm not bothered, there we go. Uh, yes, coincidentally, I'm planning to go to Tanzania over the new year. What? Can I come? Yeah, uh, yes, of course you can, yeah. <laughs> can you pay for my flight ticket? <laughs> Um, no, of course not. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So what's in the pipeline for 2020 then for you? Uh, 2020 is going to be about staying active again, mm -hmm. having meaningful fights, stepping up, keep letting them hands go. <laughs> you know, and if you could pick your next fighter, anyone, who would it be, whether if they are in the boxing industry or whether if they're an actor or a musician? What, someone that I would box? Yeah, who would Ooh. you like to punch up? <laughs> wow, wow. Um, 
Yeah, you caught me off guard with that one. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like everyone, but I would love to fly maybe like Canelo Alvarez or Mayova just for the patience. What? <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'll be in there to win, but. Yeah. You know. So, apart from boxing, what I, oh, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, you see it. That's the drip. That's a nice tracksuit. See the drip. Cheese. Cheese. TBS match. Available at top. <laughs> Can we just zoom account. in? Can we zoom in? Yeah, that? zoom in. Give him the TBS, let them know, top box of Sadiq. Okay, I need to get myself one of those. Yes, you do. Like I said, topboxofsadiq.com. We got the snapbacks too. <laughs> so apart from boxing, what else do you do for fun in your spare time? I dance salsa, travel, see friends, do a lot of nerd shit, like reading and watching documentaries. <laughs> yeah, what was the last documentary that you watched? The Great Hack, I finally watched it. It's a brilliant documentary on Netflix about how we are all being manipulated. <laughs> what, the whole CCTV conspiracy stuff? Um, it gets even deeper than that data collection and yeah, let's not get political on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. So dancing, what type of dancing is it? I dance anytime there's music on really, but for a year now I've been doing salsa, bachata and kizomba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a like a romantic hobby isn't that something you do like with a partner or, <laughs> no you have a partner that you dance with i've been single for some time now <laughs> over a year actually but i'm married to boxing oh okay yeah so if you could pick an ideal woman mm -hmm. what would she be like she'll be well spoken she'll have a great voice good behind the camera <laughs> Probably Indian. <laughs> so she would be a strong woman, independent by the true meaning of the word, not just what a lot of girls throw out nowadays. Yeah. I'm independent but pay for my bills, that sort of stuff. Um, she, yeah, she'll be strong, she'll have a good clean heart, she'll mean well for the world and she'll be a fantastic role model to my kids. Speaking of kids, would you want your potential son to get into boxing just like his father? No. No? You it's don't. too hard a life. <laughs> but you're doing it. Why yes. don't your kids do it? I'm doing it so they don't have to. But <laughs> with that being said, of course, if I had a child that really wanted to do it and push yeah. it, then I'd have to support them. But initially, I'd discourage them. Who's your favourite rapper at the moment in the UK music industry? In the UK music industry? Yeah. Oh. Is there any shout outs you want to give to anyone? Um, I mean, Stormzy goes about saying he's doing his thing. Yeah. And then, um, besides Storm, I really like gigs, you know. I think because I'm quite old school like that, because the gigs come out of um, talking the hardest and that, you know, took That must to get them. you so pumped up before a fight. Like, if you're training, what is your go to song? Oh, this is going to catch you off guard. <laughs> so, typically, I have an old school playlist, so like 80s music. Yeah. And um, 80s, late 70s. One of my coaches, Tony Sesse, loves it. He's always dancing. Wow. And then um, I eventually moved that on to a uh, reggaeton playlist. What? Yeah, I know, I know. So before I go gym or before yeah. I do anything, it's normally Slipknot or Prodigy for me. Oh. I know, I'm a bit of a metalhead. Yeah. yeah. You're a bit <laughs> this is such a good view, by the way. Yeah, Let's just it, get some it's of this. Right? Yeah, it's awesome. Beautiful city, one of the best cities in the world. And I've done a lot of traveling, so I can tell you that. Well, I'm so glad I bumped into you. I mean, is there anything that you want to say to your fans? Anything you want to leave? Well, I would like to say thank you for the ongoing support. I appreciate every single one of you. It's been a very good year, a productive year. It's, this year has been about bouncing back, and I've done that. I've had six fights, six wins, five KOs, and next year we're going to go into bigger, better things. We're going to keep dropping them bombs. We're going to pick up some titles along the way. So stay on, stay on track, stay on the team. TBS, baby. Cheese. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so glad I bumped into you. Yeah, Have you a good day, much. and I'll see you, you soon, okay? Peace. I can let myself out. Of course you can. I might nick some tea on the way down. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> bring them out, bring them out. Click the like button, leave a comment. I always try to reply. You can also follow my social media platforms with the links down below for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember to share, subscribe, so that you never miss another episode of the Top Box of Love. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's in the, 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 in